Today, we're gonna do a glow up. I need to glow up. I'm not feeling like myself right now. I wanted to sit down and do like a Sabrina Carpenter makeup tutorial. I sat down, put my outfit on, and I was like, I just am not feeling it. So we need to glow up. I feel like we all have these days, and I wanna show you guys kind of what I do to keep myself going. Before I got K-Tip extensions, I would put this Miel Rosemary Oil. You guys have probably seen this all over TikTok. This helps your hair grow like crazy, completely empty. You can get this at Ulta, Target. I think it's like 10-ish dollars, so it's very inexpensive, but it works. So you wanna stimulate the scalp first, apply this, and then kind of rub it in so it really gets into those hair follicles. I have K-Tip extensions, so I can't really use oily products like that because it'll cause the extensions to slip so i have been using this guy this is the brio geo density destined for density this is a scalp serum but it's not an oil whereas the miel one is an actual oil this one is a serum and it seeps into the scalp really nicely you can actually use this when your hair is clean and it won't make your hair oily i don't know how to describe it but it's a completely but it's a completely different texture than the Miel one is. I like to apply this serum to try to get my hair to grow a little bit more. I also apply it like right in my bang area. My scalp is sunburned from being in San Diego. You guys saw my last video, my shoulders are sunburned. Well, my scalp is also sunburned, okay? So I'm gonna kind of go overboard with this right here normally. If my hair was clean, I would not be applying this much because you can go overboard with this. But since we are going to do a hair mask, I like to apply a little bit more and not worry about this. This is also a product that you can use daily. Okay, I just came back from the gym and some guy literally followed me outside of the gym. It's crazy because I knew he was following me. I could feel it when I was in the gym. This guy like is giving <sighs> following vibes. Let's get a hair mask and then I'll tell you the tea. So I have Brio Geo. This is just their original Despair Don't Repair hair mask. It's not my favorite hair mask ever. This one right here by Amika. This is the Soul Food. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Soul Food Nourishing Mask. This stuff is so bomb. I have so many products, you guys, that are always all around me. I dug it out and I used it in the shower. I put it in my hair and then I was shaving my legs. And I rinsed out and my hair felt so good. But when I do hair masks, you guys, what I like to do is wet my hair first. And I literally bring my makeup chair in the bathroom so I can be comfortable. I was like, you know what? If I'm going to be in there talking to them, I want to be comfortable. And I didn't want to do it in my vanity because I feel like I always film in there. I want a change of scenery. When you have K-tips, it's very easy to, to forget about your natural hair and the health of your extensions and all that stuff. So I try to do this pretty frequently where I do masks and whatnot. I also totally forgot to mention that I love applying an oil when my hair is wet. I'm out of breath. The TV was playing. It was playing an ad that was at like volume 100. This is actually my favorite hair oil. This is from K18. It is a bit expensive, but a little bit of this goes such a long way. We're going to put this in our hair. Now that our hair is wet, I put four little droppers. I'm just going to apply this all throughout. And since we're not going to be styling our hair after, I feel like I can really go crazy. Like my bangs and whatnot, typically I would not put oil in my bangs because those are the first to kind of get oily anyways. But now that we're going in, girl, it's a self-care day. I love to go in. So I also do have the Olaplex bonding oil, which I guess is supposed to be kind of the same thing as K18, but it's not. In my opinion, I love, here's the Olaplex one. I have it, but I still love K18 so much more. I'm gonna put a few more drops. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we almost just dropped the K18 oil. It's super damaged from when I used to use the Revlon blow dry brush and didn't use heat protectant, which is absolutely insane, I know. When I was at the gym there was this guy in there it's so funny because i was as you guys saw i was wearing nick's merch and i sent him a picture of me at the gym wearing the merch and he's actually in the background of that picture which is just so like random that i actually got him but the whole time i was in there i could feel him staring at me every time i would look over i could see him looking at me and i'm just like oh my god this is so annoying like i'm just trying to do my thing and get out of here also had my airpods in love having my airpods because it just feels like i can ignore people easier <laughs> Like I'm busy, I'm not, but I'm busy, you know? I am just now, I think maybe like eight weeks post-op, so I can't do too much exercise. So it was a pretty short workout, it was probably like 30 minutes. Got up, left. This mask smells so good, I need to go buy the full size. And he immediately leaves with me. 
And I'm like, oh my God, like it's gonna be one of those. Also, Nick isn't here. This always happens when Nick isn't here, I swear to God. I don't know if it's like the energy, like these men can just feel like my man is out and busy or something. Specifically, wearing a bigger shirt because you know it's scary as a woman to go outside. And that's my, that it literally proves my point. Anyways, he follows me out in every corridor that I was walking through. I was like purposely not holding the door open because I'm like, I don't want to give you the impression that I want to talk to you because I really don't. Also, you're giving me creepy vibes and I'm pretty good. I'm a pretty good judge of character and like a judge of energy. And I don't like the energy that you're giving off right now. And I decided being a smart woman to go a different route than I normally go. So I'm like, you know what? I don't want you knowing like what exact elevator I take. I don't want you knowing what apartment. I took a completely different door than I normally take one, okay? And then I took a different elevator. Tell me why I get in the elevator. It's closing, it's closing out of the corner of my eye. I can see some guy walking up. He's not walking, he's running. And it's him. He came up from a stairwell that I didn't even know existed. Like, and I was on the ground level and he came up. You guys, at this point I have my AirPods in, but the music isn't playing because I'm not stupid. When I'm out in public, I don't, like, I'm very aware. I'm very aware of what's happening. He ends up just asking me like, oh, are you single? And like, you know, you're gorgeous. Like, but I was like, dude, what was all that? Like, what was all that creepiness? Where's the common sense? I'm gonna brush through my hair with the brush that I have. And then I'm going to deep clean this brush after. Whenever you take your brush and brush through products, especially hair mask and oils, you do not want to use this as your regular hairbrush because you're just going to make your hair super greasy afterwards. So what I'm going to do is boil this in some hot water and really deep clean it after. But I feel like it's important to run a brush through to kind of like get all the product. Let me know what other Amika products are worth it because this, this sold me the last time I used it. And then this time right now, oh my gosh, mm, you guys know I'm a huge scent person. Let's actually go in with a little bit more K18 oil. This is almost gone. Dare I say it is gone. These hair masks, I'm like, you know what? We're getting the most out of it that we can because I would never put this much oil in the front of my face, especially these little face framing pieces right here. Okay, so now that my hair looks greasy, this top is one of my favorite tops from Skims. Me and my girlfriend, Savannah, love these. She's like, I've worn it every day since I got it. And I'm like, me too. This is just the cotton rib tang. They are super cropped. So if you guys don't like cropped, get the long version and it'll look like a normal tank top. But I really like this, it's in the gray color. I wear it all the time around the house. I wanted to mention really quickly, my favorite like leave-in treatment. So we have the K18 hair mask. You guys know about this. So many people talk about this online. I did a partnership with them like two years ago. The smell of this is absolutely gorgeous. It's a very thick leave-in mask and it really does work. It is super expensive, just like the hair oil. My boyfriend, we bleached his hair, never he uses this. Every single time the next day he talks about how soft his hair is. Every single time without a doubt. So I feel like you know when your boyfriend or like when your man or your partner says stuff is good, you're like, all right, coming from a boy, it's good then. But this is a recent discovery. So Coco and Eve actually, they sent over this shampoo that I wanted to talk about too. Hair repair leave-in treatment. This is 100% supposed to be a dupe for the K18. I'm not sure if that's what they were going for, but it is. It's that same sort of texture and then you rub it together and it turns white. It is so, so, so good. If you guys are looking for a deep nourishing leave-in treatment, but you don't want the, to do the K18 because it's a little too expensive, please try out this Coco and Eve one. It smells completely different. This one smells like honey. I feel like all their stuff kind of smells like honey, but Oh my gosh, it's so good. It leaves my hair extremely soft after, and I think the packaging is adorable. On that same note, the, the shampoo, this Sweet Repair shampoo is delectable. This is like a, it says it's a repairing and restoring shampoo, but it's a very moisturizing and hydrating shampoo. I love it. You guys, I right now in my shower, I have K18, Olaplex, and Pureology. Those are kind of the shampoo and conditioners that I rotate through always. And I'm like, there's no way Coco and Eve is going to compare to any of those because I feel like, I don't know, like they do tanning, they do hair, they do a lot of partnerships. I'm like, is it worth it? This is so, so good. I love this. I'm actually gonna use this in the shower right now, but I opened a package and IGK sent over these glossing shampoo and conditioner. So I'm like, should we try these out and see how shiny my hair comes out? Out of the shower, obviously. My hair is all rinsed out. That Amika hair mask. So, so good. I ended up using the Coco and Eve shampoo to wash my hair. New IGK glossing conditioner. So I'm gonna let you guys know if my hair feels 
softer or looks more glossy after I style it because I feel like that's when you can really tell. I'm gonna go in with the Coco and Eve leave-in conditioner. Yeah, I felt like that was probably too much that I put on. So I obviously have not brushed out my hair yet. I'm just gonna go through lightly with my hands and distribute this product. I usually focus it towards the ends just because it is a little bit of a heavier product. If I use a leave-in conditioner that's like a spray, for example, the Redken One United, I would kind of go crazy all over my hair because I feel like it's a little bit of a thinner formula. And if it gets on my roots, it's not that big of a deal. But with this Coco and Eve one, since it's so moisturizing, I do not like to put it close to my roots. So I mentioned to you guys that I wash my brushes. Uh, what I do is I boil a pot of water and then I take it off of the stove, okay? And then in the, oh my gosh, water is coming out of it. How I get out all of the excess product, dry shampoo, dust, hair, all that stuff. It literally comes right out. You guys can see how clean the brush is now. Do you guys remember how dirty it was before? Yeah. I really should just get two brushes and interchange them. Like one for product and one for my regular. I have gently brushed through my hair. I literally just leave it like this to air dry. Before I got to this point, I had my hair in a microfiber towel, by the way. So I never use regular body towels for my hair. I always use a microfiber towel. Another thing that I did is I took a little bit of self tanner. There's barely anything left in this. This is the Bondi Sands. And what I did is just kind of applied some in the areas where I normally bronze. This is gonna create a little bit more harmony with my body to my face just because you guys know if you self tan that the tan on your face doesn't last as well as on your hands just because with your hands you're washing them so often so obviously the tan is gonna wear faster and then on your face you're exfoliating using acids like all that good stuff so it tends to come out faster. So about three or four days into my tan I like to take a little bit on a Morphe E8 brush. I used to love this for under the eyes but they reformulated it and it's like huge now. So I actually use it as like a tiny little contour brush. I'll rub some on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, chin, just to kind of bring everything back together so my face doesn't look so stark white. I sleep in it, I wake up, rinse it off, and then I'm a little bit more balanced. There's also sprays you can use, there's serums, but I've just, I've just been trying to use up what's left of this. Like I cannot use this on my body. There's maybe like three pumps left. So I'm just trying to use what's left of that. And that also... I feel like it just brings a little bit of life back to my face anyways. You guys, honestly, I'm feeling so much better than I did in the beginning of this video. Like when I sat down to film, I was like, we need to do a glow video because this is not good. How I'm feeling right now is not good. I feel like the gym helped, the hair mask helped. Every single time I wash my hair, I feel like a new woman. I'm like, this is perfect. We're getting somewhere. I was thinking about going to Ulta as well, picking up some makeup products to try out, but I do have so many that I've gotten PR that I'm like, let me try those out first before I go buy more makeup because I'm the type of person like, I'll just keep buying more, more and more and more. And even like old drugstore makeup that I haven't tried, I've been wanting to like buy all the drugstore makeup so I can try it out for you guys. But as of right now, this is where we're at. We're feeling really good. The next step is to wait for the hair to dry, do the hair, do the makeup, and then we'll be brought back to life. Remember how I was telling y'all I had an obsession with skims? Well, my new skims order just came in and I wanted to share with you guys. So I got the cotton jersey mock neck tank in extra small. So normally for my like build and everything, I get extra, extra small. But since I got my boobs done, I noticed that um, things are small on me, which is freaking crazy because normally that's not an issue. I really like the quality of the cotton jersey, but I really like the material of the cotton jersey. It's really nice and soft and it's also stretchy. Like, I don't know if you guys can see like how bungee that is. And this looks like it's going to be a full length mock neck, which is really nice because sometimes skims is a little bit cropped. And I also got the matching cotton jersey. These are the fold over pants and I did get extra, extra small in this looking at it the waist does look kind of small maybe i should have got just a regular extra small but these are the pants that everybody talks about they're flared at the bottom I'm super excited to try this on and i'm probably honestly going to wear it in to end today's video yeah super cute again both of these together was like a hundred and something dollars it came in two days it came super fast the material lasts so freaking long i know skims is expensive you guys but i swear to you the basics it's so worth it and they last you for so long. I've had like some shorts from Skims for over three years and they still look exactly this color black, like they're not faded at all and they still have the same exact stretch. So I highly recommend Skims if you haven't tried Skims. Normally wait like 15-ish minutes before I brush out the curls because the longer you wait, I believe, the more that they set in the 
uh, in like that curl pattern that you curled it in, if you were to curl it and while it's still hot, brush it out, the curls aren't gonna be as tight. Like mine a little bit more tight, especially because I film for so long. It's not even that the videos themselves actually take that long, it's just because I talk so much. So I want my curls to last as long as possible. The curls were cute, but they just were not lasting. It was giving a little bit more of like blowout vibes, which is super cute, but I really do like that this is more like mermaid vibes and I feel like it even looks more wavy than curly. So you can't even see the sunburn. I know I look insane. <laughs> I can't even see the sunburn on my scalp at all. So I'm not sure if that Briogeo density serum did something, but feels like it. I'm gonna pin back my hair so we can do the makeup. These are just from Fable and Maine. These are little creaseless clips. I'm gonna film the full makeup tutorial in a separate video because I know this video is gonna be extremely, extremely long, but I'll show you like some key points. I got the whole Pokemon collection from ColourPop. The packaging on this is so cute, you guys. I only ever watch Pokemon because my brother was super into it. I never was personally, but I do know a little bit about it. This is the Your Catch Lip Balm. And hopefully you guys can see, but it has like this beautiful pink shimmer throughout it. And it smells like a fall Bath & Body Works candle. It's insane. I, I don't know what I was expecting from the scent of this, but it was not that. I already applied it on my lips. The best reviews on Ulta, I'm not really sure why. I don't know. I feel like whenever ColourPop comes out with certain collections, they go really ham. First off, we went in with the e.l.f. Woe Glow sunscreen because it's not super thick on the face. Then we went in. This is such an OG, the Atacha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is the mini size. Look at my face. Look at this face. We're going to have such a juicy base today. <laughs> Cannot wait. One of my favorite eye creams. This is the 4th Ray Beauty. This is ColourPop's skincare brand. This is the So Radiant Under Eye Cream, and it just makes your under eyes so glowy, and it's very lightweight. So if you guys like a lightweight under eye cream, you guys will be obsessed with this, and it's also very glowy and radiant. I ended up doing a full drugstore combo on my face today. Sabrina Carpenter, as you guys know, I'm trying to do a Sabrina Carpenter makeup today, and her face is just so juicy and beautiful, but it also looks flawless like it has coverage. So I added a little bit of my Maybelline Dewy Fit Me, in the shade 120 and i added my elf halo gold that i haven't used in so long and if you guys have been around here for a while you know that i used to just spot conceal and completely use this by itself so it feels good to be using it again and now we're gonna go in with a bit of concealer and we're gonna do the huda beauty concealer in the shade cotton candy i'm gonna do just i was gonna say a little bit but i'm gonna do this much under my eyes i love the shade cotton candy for my skin tone because i feel like it brightens a tiny bit it's maybe like a shade brighter than my actual skin tone just a little rule of thumb if you go super super light under your eyes most of the time it can re-amplify the darkness and actually make it look worse so keep that in mind is add a little bit of this anastasia cream bronzer this is in the shade amber this is one of my favorite shades and formulas i actually had to hide it for myself because i was using it in so many videos but now that i dug it back out love her you guys can see just how emollient this is i dug my nail in there right before I filmed the video. So that's what that huge ring missing is. Blush, I know you guys are gonna ask about it. This is Lawless Angel. This is the Soft Blur Cream Blush. They are launching these on the 24th. I believe by the time this video is out, you guys, um, it will be the 24th, so you guys can purchase these at Sephora. And I'm using the Body Blender. This is actually from Beauty Blender. I'm not really sure what this is intended to be for. Like they said it's for the body, but I don't know. So what I did, is I pinched it like this and applied the blush with this and it's working so good. I also wasn't sure what type of formula this cream blush was gonna get because it says soft blur and I was like, I don't want matte. I want a juicy cheek. And maybe it's all the skin prep we did underneath, but it's not matte. That's right. Then we did some lips. I did Huda Beauty. You guys, I use so many different lip liners because I'm trying to create the perfect lip shade in the Sabrina Carpenter <laughs> photo that I have. So we did Makeup Forever, Anywhere Caffeine, and Endless Cacao, and the Huda Beauty Muted Brown, what is this, Pinky Brown Lip Liner. And in the center, I did my MAC Totally Synced Blush. Now we're going in and doing a little bit of black winged liner. She has like a half wing on. Normally I do this with brown eyeshadow, so to me, this is definitely different for me with the first coat of mascara this is the l'oreal telescopic just the original thankfully in this picture that i'm recreating she uses half lashes sometimes you guys you really just have to pick your own self up 
and do it for yourself. I'm getting to that age where I realize nobody is going to get you out of that mindset unless it's you. And I feel like I knew that all along, but you know, they say when you're 25, your frontal lobe starts developing. I feel like that's how I feel. Like it's everything is like connecting, all the dots are connecting and it's making sense. So I was feeling a little bit down about myself and I'm like, you know what? We have to do something to get ourselves out of this funk that we're in. Otherwise we'll just stay in it forever. That's what I did. Actually, that's what we did. We did it together and I'm happy that I was able to take you along this journey with me. If you guys made it this far in the video, let me know down below what you guys do to feel better because I'm always down to take some more advice. Also, I just love self-care. So anything you guys do for your own self-care, leave it down in the comments so we can all share and talk about what we do. I hope you guys enjoyed this glow up. And if you want to see the full makeup tutorial on this look right here, it will be up the video after this. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And good things are always coming your way. I'm super big on manifest on manifesting. So if you guys see something that you really want, just keep manifesting it. Keep going towards that goal. And if you're like laser line focused towards that, I promise you, you will get it. I love you guys. Wait, is this millennial? Bye.